This looks like exactly what it is. It's an old propane bottle with the old POL valve in it. And uh, there's a reason I have this in the shop with chips of metal all over the floor. Got a piece of quarter inch wall pipe and I cut holes and slots in it so it could be used to extract the valve. Those valves are three quarter inch pipe thread, they're screwed in pretty tight some have some form of sealer on them so they're in really good so this started out like that and now it's ready for a test so in the next day or so we got a we got a bar a sixteenth of an inch smaller than this huge hole we're gonna pass it through there Put a cheater pipe on it and reef this off. We've got a stand that'll handle holding the bottle, excuse me, so it doesn't twist. So, anyway, this was a whole lot of whole lot of metal going on, as you can see here. <clears throat> but I was happy to get it done. Now I have a second piece because some of these um, bottles that uh, my neighbor has have older, much older valves on them. We're talking way over 30 years old, so they're a different shape. So they'll require different um, different cuts on the ends here. <clears throat> but uh, this should be stiff enough to not distort and do several of these. He's recycling these. He wants to separate that brass valve from the steel because you get more money if they're separate. Um, I want one of these because I need a Freon storage recovery tank, a Freon recovery tank, because I have R12 vehicles and I also have R134 vehicles. And this will be my R134 storage tank, recovery tank. I have a, a genuine R12 already, I just need another one and this will work just fine. Um, several of the vehicles have air conditioning problems right now at the beginning of July so I've got to get on this to get this fixed so anyway this isn't about them this is about this nice tool I made it should last a very long time and get the job done so anyway I thought I'd show you guys what I did and uh, you could do it with an angle grinder and and you know other tools it doesn't have to be on a mill but uh, it came out great. I'm real happy with it. It fits nicely around the base. Sorry, the lighting's not that good. But it fits well, and I think we'll be able to reef it off, torque it off fairly easily. Anyway, that's it for now. See you, bye.